Texas. Nice. And they all started with uh, conjunto music. And, uh, you know, they've toured with Little Joe. One of my uncles plays with Joe King. Mm -hmm. um, Carrasco, mm -hmm. and they tour the world, and I oh mean, yeah, very popular musicals. You know, style. Los Munguia Brothers. My mm -hmm. dad was with them for a very long time, so I mean, I'm all my family's very, very musically well, talented yeah. in some way. Well, let's hear one of the songs, okay? Okay. Let's uh, let's check out uh, cut one. Tell me about that one. All the right? very first one is called Vas a Querer Volver, and it was originally recorded in a bachata version. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a cancer survivor, so during the downtime of cancer, I would watch a lot of novelas, and this was an intro to a novela. And I told my husband, hey, why don't we do this song and change it into more like a Norteño Cumbia type? Right. And right. it took about a couple of years. We messed around with it till finally I'm like, you know what? Let's do this. Yeah. So that's my baby. We put it together back in August of last year. And it was the first song that we ever did together. Well, and he's on every instrument on the, on the whole album. He's on every instrument. And this is who? Yes. This is? Joseph Gonzalez. Joseph Gonzalez. Yes, All sir. right. We got to pay credit to him, right? Oh, exactly. Right, here we go. <laughs> Let's check it out. Chevy Love, here on K-Rock, the official Conjunto radio station. About 15 minutes shy of 6 o'clock. Welcome. And we have her here in the studio, Chevy Love. <laughs> And again, uh, yesterday we're talking, you just joined us, folks. We're talking to uh, Chevy Love, and we are playing Destino Cruel, one of one of uh, her hits off this uh, this album, mini album. 
And, uh, ya me estabas diciendo que ya, ya radicas aquí ya, ya 11 años, eras mm -hmm. ya de tiempo. Mm -hmm. And be in tiempo, you know, that's where little Joe is from, and I, a lot of groups from there, and I'm sure that yes. your family's very, <laughs> you know, musically inclined. Pero yes. un poquito de, 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 you know, your, your, your background, like, like your, your family, uh, the, tus hermanos, quizás. Yes, yeah, so all my brothers, mm -hmm. uh, my two older brothers, they both play. One of my brothers is a pastor, and he has all his kids playing in his church, and mm -hmm. then my other brother... Uh, plays the bass and the accordion. Mm -hmm. I myself, at the age of six, started uh, learning the accordion, mm -hmm. and right now I'm learning the bajo sexto, and I love playing drums. So not only do I want to sing, I want to be able to play, sure, you sure. know, back myself up. And mm -hmm. then um, my sister, she's a very well-known DJ in Austin. It goes by the name of Demographics, and she DJs Korean music, oh, Korean wow, pop music. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, we mm -hmm. just, and then my dad, he played with, you know, Norteño music. He played Conjunto music. And my dad is my heart and soul. He's been, you know, my rock. And he just supports me all the way on this. Oh, and that's he's, great. That's good. Yes. And he has his own band called Conjunto Sin Nombre, mm -hmm. which I actually manage. And, you know, we get together and it's a family affair. Wow. Got yeah. music all around. That's oh, yes. Yes, definitely. And then my children, too, they're, you know, growing up with the music and they're my biggest fans. And of course. I mean, it's just, we love getting together and just doing this. Can you imagine a, 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 <laughs> a, a backyard barbecue at Chevy Loves pretty soon? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, guys, you got, oh, I got the accordion. Eh? I got the bajo over here. But pretty soon, you know what happens. Yes, exactly. That's all the time. But oh, no, being qu being here in Corpus Christi, I mean, to be honest with you, I've always wanted to move to Corpus. One of my biggest inspirations, Albert Zamora. Mm -hmm. He's one mm -hmm. of my, bi my biggest mentors now and mm -hmm. really good friend. Good, good, good uh -huh. friend of mine, yeah. And, um, I mean, it's always been, I've had that conjunto in me mm -hmm. and... That that's gonna explain the next song that we play, uh, Destino Cruel. That's always been one of my favorite songs, and people have told me, you know, but that's a manly song. You can't do it because mm -hmm. you know it's it's for men. And mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna do it, gonna, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna record it. it, and I want to be one of the first females that records this song. You know, and um, yeah. Elo Eloy would have been very proud of you. Uh, that that song was written by Eloy Bernal, uh -huh. which which uh, Destino Cruel. And uh, the Stiro, uh, Eloy Bernal, I don't know if you were, you're, you're probably too young to, but to remember El Conjunto Bernal. Yes, I don't know if you yes, remember Bernal, yes. there were two brothers here. Uh -huh. Eloy, he's no longer with us, he passed away, but uh, he wrote that song. He, his daughter was telling me that he wrote that song when he was 16 years old. So oh, wow. 16. So, wow. ponte a pensar de eso, right? And, like, uh -huh. Especially the words. Yes. Uh, very, very nice words. Yes, yeah, and yeah. I love that song, and oh, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to record it. I don't care. Who says what? And, <laughs> right. and you know, to to be here is such an honor to be here because when I first came to Corpus, mm -hmm. I mean, having a conjunto station in Corpus, I'm like, I told my husband, one day I'm going to be on K Rob. So oh, when yeah. we heard this, oh, I was <laughs> in tears. I was like, yes. And yes. now I'm here with you. There and it's like, is. Oh. Well, let's <laughs> check out Destino Cruel. All right. Uh, here we go. Vamonos. Come on. Don't make me look bad. Here we go. <laughs> Chevy Love. <laughs>
baby. <laughs> you got it. Chevy Love. It's a Chevy. Very, very good. Uh, uh, Chevy, I, I really like what you're doing. Really like what you're doing. All right. So tell me about your name. Platicame. Is there something behind it? Is there a significance? Uh, you know. Yes. Platica. Actually, growing up, you know, I dedicate most of this to my grandfather because I spent a lot of time with my grandfather and in, in learning music. Mm -hmm. And he was the, the one that had taught all my uncles and most of my family. And um, towards the end, he had also developed cancer, mm -hmm. and he be had became very involved in the church. And one of, you know, the biggest scriptures in church for us was God is love. So that's where the love comes from in Chevy Love, because, mm -hmm. you know, I want to spread that with everybody, you know, spread the love here, spread the love there. And it, it's just, it's one of the biggest words that you can use. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't express anything more than love. There's just nothing greater than that. It's, that's so, true. That's so very true. And then Chevy, well, I've had Chevy, my real name is Siobhan. But I've had Chevy since I could remember. My friends were calling me that, you know. Chevy, and, ah. and I used to be bullied with the name Chevy, and uh -huh. it just kind of stuck, and I've used that ever since. Yeah, Chevy. So when it became for a stage name, you don't find anybody in our industry <coughs> nowadays that yeah. have a stage name. You know, they'll they'll have a nickname or something, but not a stage name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something like that. So I'm like, you know what? Chevy and love, let's put it together. Yeah, yeah. And, and it sticks. Chevy sure. love. Chevy I mean, love. It's, yeah, it's very and, unique. And, and your name, uh, again? Siobhan. Siobhan. That's a Siobhan. very pretty name. Very, Thank very you. pretty Thank name. Thank you. But Chevy love, just remember, Chevy love, okay? Very pretty young lady. She's in here with me right now. And, uh, wow. And I can tell... You're surrounded by musicos, musicos, yes. musicos. So that's great. That's it's great. always been a, a very hard thing for me. And, um, like, again, this is very special to me because uh, my dad and my husband have been the only two that have really, really, you know, believed in, in mm -hmm. me pursuing this. And, I mean, well, coming from a musical family, it's so much competition. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and you don't get that support. So, I mean, they're my support system, and this is something I wanted to do to prove that, you know, I mean, for our generation, like I said, mm -hmm. to keep my grandfather's legacy going. So, I mean, there's just so so many stories, and, and this means so much, you sure. know, so much behind Are this. Are you going to uh, be at the fanfare this year? or? or I was at the fanfare, actually. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I was there. I performed uh, with at Cattleman's mm -hmm. with the, in the fanfare, and sí, then, sí, uh, sí. Uh, well, that night, like an after party. And then I did two meet and greets. I did one Friday, and then I did one on Sunday. Wow, it's amazing so, how so yes. many people come out. Yes. So much talent out there. I think that's 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 a great event that they have there to it to, is. to be able to expose, you know, young talent, old talent, whatever you, you find musicals there of all of all ages. And that that's beautiful. Yes. You yes. Know, yeah. And we also have um two upcoming gigs um for April. Yeah, we have April seventh. I don't know if you know uh, Mr. Fred Orozco. Oh yes. yes okay. Yes, 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 well do. um he's got he has a bar that he's opening mm -hmm. in Aransas Pass and we're gonna uh -huh. be doing the grand opening on April seventh. It's free, you know, free barbecue. Well, so well, what is the name of the place? Como se Al's Bar by the Bay or Al's by the Bay Bar. Okay, place. well, if you know one of those yes. days, you know where it is. And if, if you know, <laughs> you'll, you'll end up there. Oh, yes, you know. yes. Well, you're going to be there on the 7th of, of April. Again. On the 7th, okay. uh -huh, Texas Fever featuring Chevy Love. And we're going to be with Los Arias out there. Marcos Orozco y Extremo, uh -huh. and, a, and a bunch of good bands are going to be out there. Okay, and then do you have something else in, in April? You said yeah. uh, yes, April the twenty eighth. We love to play at the Blue Marlin, which mm -hmm. is right next to the Lexington. Oh yes, yes, on, yes. Uh, here mm -hmm. in Corpus, so we'll be out there, and that's a free event too, from nine to one, wow. April twenty eighth. That's if they want to come out and hear these songs that you're playing, sure, yeah. sure. Okay, we'll, we'll, do yeah, hey, we'll do it. We'll do it. Just <laughs> mention K Rob. Did exactly. you whisper that, whisper exactly. that to, to Chevy? She'll say, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, if they mention K-Rob and they heard this on yeah. K-Rob, I'll give them a free CD. You see that? How about that? That's all yes. you got to do. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Gumbia time. Tell me about the next song we're going to hear. The next song is written by my very good friend of many years, uh, Mr. Izzy Terrazas. And Izzy. he was my brother's best friend, my brother, which we were talking about. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. was playing with Desconocido. He's now playing with us on the drums. Josh, so shout out to my little brother Josh. You borrowed him for a little bit. I borrowed him just for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> no, he's an he's an amazing producer and and, and musician. There so you go. But otra noche más is about when you're married to somebody, and you still have feelings and want that last fling with uh -huh. the previous of person. Of course, of course. You know, you right. kind of you want that otra noche más. Yeah, yeah, that little butterflies are still yeah, flying. Right? Yeah. Yes, I mean, yes. I always tell everybody this song <laughs> reminds me of a snake. You there know, because you, you just. 
So that's, that's what this song is about. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to check that out. I have to do the ID, and then we're going to hit the, 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 the es cumbia, ¿verdad? Es cumbia, y yes, it y, is. ¿Y cómo se llama? Otra noche más. Otra noche más. That's yes. coming up. K-R-O-B, Robstown, Corpus Christi, 94.3 FM and 1510 AM, a Claro Communications Radio Station. Chevy Love, Otra Noche Más on K-Rob. The time is 6.01. Buenas tardes. Say it right, Chevy Love. There you go. So, Chevy, congratulations. I like that. That's thank a you. Nice thank cumbia. You. Nice cumbia. Yes. At the end, you know, I did. Um, I wanted to put a little twist to it, uh -huh. so I had got my cell phone to ring, and I said, "Hey, mi novio está dormido. Espérame afuera. Ahí voy." Ah. So we got. You know, we were wanting to make the music video on that too, and and kind of put that in there. Oh, so awesome. Yeah. That's why I said, you know, you little snake. <laughs> ah, little so that's at the end of this song, right? The one we yes. just heard. I yes. stepped on it. I'm sorry, but I, oh, I, I, okay. I came that's in and okay. I did not hear, but I'm, I'm going to be listening for that. And I'm going to say the snake song. Uh, the snake the song. The snake song. <laughs> if you've just joined us, folks, uh, we're talking to Chevy Love. You know who she is. Destino Cruel. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's here in the studio with me, and I'm so glad she's here. Got to meet her today. And it is a pleasure having you here, Chevy. Thank uh, you. Lots of talent, lots of talent, and I'm, I'm getting you. to know more and more of you. Yes. Um, maybe one of these days you'll, th the minute you'll be out there with, we always have a, a Mother's Day celebration. We have bands. Yes, groups that get we're, together. we're working on that. We're working sure, on Sure, we it. would uh -huh. love to have you there. Okay, I know it's, this year, uh -huh. it's, it's all of a sudden, but uh -huh. those are things that are, man, and people love it. And yes, like, like I've actually been to a couple, yes, and I would love yes. to be there. I mean, uh, it's just, I hear so much conjunto out oh there, yeah, the Tejano, yeah. and I see it every year. It mm -hmm. gets so packed, and I, I just love it. I love people in yeah, general. Yeah. Y si te gusta yes. el acordeón, that's where you gotta oh go. Oh, yes. Just take, take <laughs> your lawn chair, and you just get ready. Yes. Oh, conjunto tras conjunto, yeah. And w you said Albert Zamora. You, you look up to Albert, and he's a friend of yours. Are there yes. any other, other groups there that you look up to, and you say, man, wow, 
I really like the way he plays, or I really like his style, or, or her style. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to mention, it's, it's, a lot of people know him here in Corpus Christi, and that has to be my husband, Joseph Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really look up to him. Um, when I first met him, he was very into the music, and he was playing with uh, Milo Rivas, mm -hmm. and they used to be called Octo, and then they switched to Sexto Sueño. Yeah. And um, we just clicked and we hit it off really good. Later on, we got married. And I mean, everything he does, this whole album he did for me. And yeah. it just amazes me, mm -hmm, you know, watching mm -hmm. him play. So he has to be. And his idols are like uh, Angel Flores and, oh you know, yeah. Tony De La Rosa is one mm -hmm, of his biggest mm -hmm. inspirations. And of course, Jaime De Anda and, and them. And he's got a lot of older ones. And um, the next song that you, you have, and that's on my album, he actually did a tribute in this song on the accordion to every single accordion player, like Bonnie Mauricio, oh Abitimor, wow. on his floor. He did a little piece See of yeah, all their pedacito. moves, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. of all their moves in there. And it was a song, it's called Lloraremos Los Dos, and it was a song that Snowball and Company did with Laura Canales back in the day. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I recently heard Steve Jordan's version of it, and Steve wow. Jordan had this powerful, amazing voice, and mm -hmm, I'm like, mm -hmm. man, I wish I could do that. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm going to do it and challenge myself. Sure. So, I mean, I, I took it out, and we sat there one night, and we just could not get it right. <laughs> <laughs> because my husband has his own um, recording um, studio, and it, you uh -huh. know, it's called G-Soul Records, mm -hmm. and we do our own recordings and stuff. And, yeah. and I mean, we were just pulling our hair out and we're like we'll take this on tomorrow yeah yeah the it next it day we woke up and boom yeah I mean, it wasn't it done that night yes. it wasn't done and it, it just wasn't yes. yeah my, my brother <laughs> my brother has a studio and he said Muchas veces you have to sleep on it and I said, what do you mean he said, you have to just leave it alone yes and, and the next <laughs> day it's totally different and it's like it comes together mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, so yeah, that was one of those nights, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, you know what? I'm going to bed. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk to you tomorrow. We'll I don't know you, you right now. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Yes. That's it. That's but it. But, no, I mean, it came together the next day, and then we just uh, practiced it the other day, and I was able to hit it. And, you know, those notes, because, like I said, it's out of my range. It's so powerful, yeah, but I wanted I mean, to challenge myself. Sure, sure. So it's, yeah, and it came out amazing. And it's um, giving credit to your husband. Is the yes. It does take talent. For example, okay, I'm going to play a little bit of Bonnie. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to play a little bit of Tony, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, porque uno, cada quien tiene su propio estilo. Yes. Pero when you say, hey, I'm going to borrow a little bit from Bon, a little bit from Ramon, and, you know, mm -hmm. and then you have to adapt, and you have to be able to <laughs> play that, you know. Yes. So, solo felicito. Let's check it out. Cut number four. What is the name of the, uh, of the song? It's called Lloraremos Los Dos. And we wanted to bring more of the old school version back. Mm -hmm. And since we're a very young couple, you know, we wanted to bring that back and to make it sound a little bit of conjunto, a little bit of tejano mixed together. And I mean, I just, this happens to be one of my favorite songs. And this is the next song that I'm going to be putting out on the airwaves. So, I mean, I just hope everybody enjoys it. Well, you got a Chevy love. Check it out.
Love. Oh, y es bonita canción. Give me the name of this song again. Lloraremos los dos. Lloraremos los dos. And, and uh, now all of the, um, este grupo, of course, when she goes to play, uh, you have your full band. Yes. And the uh, guys are jamming and everything. But uh, all the instruments that are being played that you're hearing right now actually were recorded by your husband, correct? Yes. So he's very talented. Very, very talented. So yes, he is. Lo felicitamos. I mean, I just throw him the idea and he puts it together. And then we work around the arrangements and stuff, the sounds and everything. Yeah, and yeah. I mean... It just comes out awesome. Well, that's I mean, good. That that's really yes. good. You know, working together like that, uh, Chevy, and, and just just you know, keep your ideas coming and and uh, como se dice, be strong. Like like when you don't feel like it's on the right key or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. gotta honey, you gotta change it. <laughs> Sorry, I know I told you G last night. But it's not. <laughs> yeah, I know. let's sleep. You know, we'll get up in the morning, have some coffee, there taquito, you go. and there you go. <laughs> actually, I wanna mention real quick about sure. the little um, the grito in there. Uh -huh. It's actually a joke, and uh -huh. it became my little trademark because my kids they do funny things, and I'll tease them and stuff, and I'll be like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when I was recording a lot, you know, I would do that and I'd be the, ha <laughs> uh -huh. you know, it's that's it right that's there. That's it right there. So now I was like, you know, I don't want to be a whole traditional grito. The uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let me do it real quick for everybody uh -huh, that's listening. Uh -huh. Chevy Love Grito goes like. Exactly <laughs> like that. So if I hear anybody doing that, I know they're listening to my that's music. Right. <laughs> and, and then you say, that's my grito. Yeah, that's my grito. Uh, pat that grito. <laughs> Watch it the way you use it. <laughs> and it's right here. So everybody heard it and they that's know. That's right. That's right. So it is, it is, <laughs> it's so good to have finally met you, uh, Chevy Estate. Thank you. And, and again, any, any time that uh, you just want to come in and talk to us, you can do it. All right. You don't oh, have yes, to Just come yes, on in. Thank you so and much. And just tell Alice, I'm coming in. <laughs> and come on in. And again, we would love to have you come in out there uh, at the uh, Heritage Park. Uh, not this year, maybe next year. Yes. Because uh, people go, they go out there. And you know what? I notice a lot of times, van a, por ejemplo, quinceañeras, bodas, or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, with in mind. And they, they hear somebody, oh, yes. I like that when she's singing or whatever, you know, and they'll approach you. As soon as you get out, boom, boom, ahí se hace el trato. And you got you. <laughs> right? Am I right? If there anyone would like to book us, like I said, you know, our band is Texas Fever Band featuring mm -hmm. Chevy Love, myself. Um, the number to call is 361-695-2465. There you go. And they will get um, the Chevy Love voice message. Mm -hmm. It says a lot of goodies, details, music going on. Sounds really fancy. And I did it on myself. Oh, <laughs> now, now, if, if yeah. we log on to ChevyLove.com, where does that yes. take me? Se uh, ChevyLove.com takes you to my official website All right. where you can get the latest. You can see pictures that I have not posted because I'm very uh, socially active, like on Facebook, Instagram, uh -huh, Snapchat, uh -huh. all that as well. Th but they can go to ChevyLove.com. They can get merchandise, shirts, the CDs, posters, find out our... Uh, what we're playing next. I mean, all sorts of info on there. Oh, awesome. Awesome. And ChevyLove.com. And remember, Chevy with an S. Yes. Not, not with a C. Now you want to uh, Chevy add some, with an S. <laughs> and an As I. in snake. That's right. <laughs> S-A-E-V-I. Right? Yes, sir. Chevy, Chevy Love. Chevy, thank you so much once again. Thank you, Joseph. For, uh, for coming by. We love, oh, and I love your little unicorn. Yes, the, the unicorn. The <laughs> I mean, the unicorn is uh -huh. because I... I've seen this this uh, generation, you know, the new talent that's mm -hmm. coming out, and I'm trying to target the youth to get them into the music. Got it. And right now, unicorns is the popular thing. So I mean, I have that on almost all my merchandise, a little unicorn symbol. They're like, "Mama, look at the unicorn!" Oh, you know, and I it attracts them. Uh, sure. And you know, I'm very bubbly and very the pinks and everything. My <laughs> CD looks like something from the '80s. Oh, the it's, it's rainbow great. bright and stuff. So yeah, it's I'm great. very. <laughs> Just remember, music and rhythm. It is the uh, the international language, so we yes. all understand it. All right. Chevy Love, thank you so much, okay? Thank we appreciate you so you. much. Thank All you. All right, Chevy, gracias. You're listening to K-Rob, the official Conjunto radio station. Stick around. Mm -hmm.